We released two birds this morning. They're the last two from this site. We both spent a lot of time up there just preening and, and testing their wings. Um, and then one finally took off within about a half an hour of placing it on the, the box, which is uh, kind of typical for, for the ospreys. You're going to first draw, I guess, draw some blood. 1527 subtract 89. 1527 subtract 89. Yep. Sort of up towards the front corner of the eye, if possible. Okay, my head is 42.9, just as good. Left wing. One of my own educational objective is to not only having the opportunity to talk to students, interact with students in the classroom, but also really create opportunities for students to be able to involve in research. Then they can really see the connection between what they learn from the subject matters and then what's really going on in the field and then understand this loop about how research, you know, at the same time also help us to advance our knowledge. Basically the concept of hacking these birds is that they're kept in the hack box for anywhere from perhaps two to three weeks. Uh, we receive the birds at a young age before they're, they're flight ready. When, uh, when the birds are at an age where they should be ready to fledge, then we will place them on top of the box. And before we do that, we do mist them down with water so that they're damp. That way, when they feel that they're wet, they're not likely to leave right away. We want them to be on top of the box where the fish is, become associated with the, um, the box and the food, and then uh, they'll take off whenever they're ready. Okay. It's really nice because we, I've been watching them from the box, so I've been watching them develop certain movements every day so the one day they'll figure out they have feet the next day they'll figure out they have wings and then they'll start flapping and it's just a really rewarding to actually just see that all pay off at the end and just see them actually flying he was flying really strong and that's to me when the bird just took off and just figured out once it was in the air um, that he was flying and he was doing really well. I, I was, the, I don't know, it was the, one of the happiest moments. It uh, gave about a four minute flight. It was real nice to see. It did very well. The other one stayed on top of the box and was eating fish. So both the birds are in a very good uh, situation. They're, they're comfortable and they're familiar with the surroundings. No, that's actually it. We've, uh, we've had a lot of cooperators on this project, anywhere from the ones that uh, installed the utility poles for the supports, those that uh, did the construction on the hacking boxes and towers, and then we have people from the Illinois Natural History Survey at the um, River Biological Stations that catch the fish for us. So there are a lot of, a lot of people that have helped out with this project that we couldn't have done this without their help.